Hi everybody, my name is Seth Champ. I'm here with Beckley. We're at Grace Vermont bringing you another move of the week. So far we've been teaching this concept called two-door jujitsu. It's something I teach in all of my classes where one door closes, another door opens. We look at this concept from all of the basic positions. We started with the full mount, the back mount, the side mount. Today we're going to pick it up with the guard. From those positions I just mentioned, your goal was to either get up or get to guard. Once we're back in guard, what do we do? Well, fundamentally speaking, the strongest place for you to fight off of your back is going to be your closed guard. It's the safest place for you to fight, and it allows you the best advantage for attacking your opponent. I have them on my closed guard. We're going to start with, what are they doing? Everything I teach off of your back has to do with what is my opponent doing, what works with what they're doing. So we're going to start today with Beckley's in my guard. She has her posture nice and low, and when she brings her head nice and low, she brings her neck nice and low allowing me my first attack, our cross choke from the guard. So, first thing to understand, when Beckley's in my guard, if her posture is all the way up here, I'm not gonna try to cross choke her from up there. It's too far. I'm looking at a posture where she's nice and low, bringing her neck nice and low. I'm gonna start by taking one hand and opening the lapel. My other hand, four fingers are gonna slide in all the way behind the back of the neck, locking my bite. Other hand is gonna go behind that wrist, deep in, but not as far. I don't have another hand helping me, but I'm gonna lock that bite. Now, fundamentally speaking, if I can get these grips as tight as I possibly want, I should be able to get the tap just by rolling my wrists. This is what you should do when you're first learning this. No defense, just all the way in, and see if you can't get a tap just by rolling your wrists. Now, when you're really doing this, it won't be as tight. She's defending, there's movement, but I'm gonna get as deep as I can, Roll my wrists, and the finish will usually be pulling your elbows to the mat and bringing your head to their shoulder. If everything was perfect, I would get it just with that wrist roll. But when I'm doing this for real, I'm gonna need to generally add a crunch. Roll the wrists, bring your elbows to the mat, head towards the shoulder. Now, what if I can? One of the easiest ways to stop this technique, to shut the door on the cross choke, is to answer the phone. My hand goes in, Beckley brings her hand in, covers her ear, puts her wrist between, between her carotid and my wrist. Now when I bring my other hand in to roll my wrists, I'm attacking the wrist, not the neck. She shuts the door on my cross choke, but she opens the door to attacking her base. I'm gonna take my hand out, reaching for the elbow, the sleeve, both feet on the mat, Big shrimp away from my grips, making space between my heel and my butt. I need enough room between my heel and my butt to generate enough kazushi to pull her off of her ankles. Big pull, rotate my legs, come to the top, keeping my hand in the grip to either look for attacks or arm locks. Again, the key to this technique is being able to create enough space with that initial shrimp to make kazushi when I pull her force her off her amounts. If I just shrimp and my heel is so close to my hips, I'll never get her off of her base. I need enough space to be able to pull, then scissor my leg. So, hand goes in, she defends, grip the sleeve, feet on the mat, big shrimp. I'm gonna pull, scissoring my legs, rotate to the top, giving myself a top angle with a hand in. One more time from another angle. Beck is in my guard. I start attacking that deep bite, she answers the phone. Grip on the outside of the elbow, feet on the mat, shrimp out. One leg on the mat, one on her hip. Pull, scissor to the top, hand in the collar, moving to the mount. This is a two-door jujitsu series using the cross choke to set up our scissor sweep. I'm Seth, this is Beckley, we're here at Gracie, Vermont, bringing you another move of the week.